2023 elections, ex-minister Nguanko expresses confidence court will declare Peter be winner. Wow. Hmm. So, former minister of state of health for health uh, has, uh, you know, expressed uh, optimism again that in due course, the court will definitely declare Peter be the winner of the just concluded presidential election. This is a very, a very good hope that is coming here. Let's see where he's hinging his hope on. The former Minister of State for Health, Fidelis Wanko, has tasked the teeming supporters of Labour Party, LP, and obedient movement members in Ebony State to have full confidence in the Nigerian judiciary, insisting that Peter Obi will be declared winner by the court. Wanko, a former National Commissioner, for the Independent National Electoral Commission noted that only the court has the power to rewrite the wrongs allegedly done by the ruling of Progressive Congress APC during the last February 25, 2023 presidential election in the country. The former council chairman of Easy Local Government Area made this known while briefing newsmen shortly after his meeting with stakeholders and teaming supporters of Labour Party and Obedient Movement members that took place at his Amago uh, residence, Abakaliki, the Ebony State capital. Wow. The former minister uh, had contested for the governorship of the state under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Labour Party, LP. Wang Kuo, who narrated his political journey, said he would continue to remain in Labour Party, LP, noting that Nigeria will be governed by Peter B, who, according to him, has the capacity and sagacity to develop and transform the nation's economy. He said the prayers of Nigerians is that the judiciary will rewrite the wrongs done by APC during the last presidential and national assembly elections. The man Nigerians voted for is Mr. Obi. He will be declared winner and become the president of Nigeria. Wanko apologized to the teeming Labour Party supporters and obedient movement members in the state who had approached him to fly the flag of the party as his governorship candidate. I will I wish to apologize to Labour Party LP supporters in Ebony for not bringing back the ticket. But I want you to reason with me, show me understanding that it was no longer an open contest about the supremacy of the party personal interest and sometimes you you can call it tyranny of the party and the powers that be that denied us the chance but next time we can do better he stated hmm. he however urged the supporters to vote massively for candidate of the party who are standing uh, election for the Ebony state house of assembly and candidates of their choice for governorship. That is a good one. So that was what I'm saying. So he contested for governorship, both under Labour Party and under PDP, and uh, he lost all of them. And he's trying to apologize uh, to the Labour Party supporters in the Bunny State that sometimes this is how it can turn to be. Okay? But the key thing here in his message is that we should come out and vote en masse for the state elections that will be coming on Saturday. Okay, and at the same time to be uh, optimistic because the court will rewrite the wrongs that is being done by the APC and they will, at the due course, they will declare it to be winner. That what the wrong thing that APC, I mean the APC and ANEC have done is only court that can correct it in the court judgment. That is what uh, uh one call is telling us here okay and we all know anyway that the people voted for peter Obi. they didn't vote tinubu okay tinubu got vote but tinubu would have been far third because even comparing tinubu with atiku it was atiku had less baggage than tinubu okay atiku is less terrible than tinubu so obviously tinubu was not even anywhere to come as second no talk of being the first in the election. 
It's, it's just they, because they use their uh, political influence as they at the power of the incumbent to do what they did and then declare themselves winner. That is INEC president elect. That is what they call it now, and not Nigerian president elect because Nigerians didn't vote for him. And that is why there is very serious protest and disagreement around that story of uh, Tinubu being the winner. Okay, but the fact remains that uh, in due course, that certificate of return given to Tinubu will definitely be returned to the right uh, to the rightful owner because it is it is not theirs. With the kind of violence we saw in the election, with the kind of rigging that INEC did, it, the, the worst of all is that all these things that are happening were already seen and mentioned, alarms were raised whistles were blown before the presidential election that INEC ICT staff are going to compromise, that thugs are going to disturb. Even when the strategy is signed by burning INEC offices in some states, okay, now the, the, security, the National Security Advisor, Baba Ghana Munguno, and uh, uh, Abdul Salam Abubakar, former head of state that is chairing the, the National Peace Committee, they all had meetings, stakeholders meeting with INEC, with IGP, and with all security chiefs. And they promised Nigerians that everything will be okay. Okay? And at the end of the day, it turned out to be that they didn't do anything. The security operatives didn't do anything. The INEC even went ahead and violated their own electoral act and the, and the, and the, and the, and the electoral guidelines that they gave for the elections to, to hold. Eh? That's how bad it is. The same ICT staff that we said, uh, you know, allegations came initially that they were going to compromise. They said no, they were not going to compromise. First, also Kui came out to tell everybody that they were not going to compromise. Okay, I next chairman Mahmoud Yakubu told everybody that they were not going to compromise. They ended up compromising, and now they're trying to. They, in fact, it, it turns out to be that the INEC chiefs themselves are the are the epicenter of the of the of the of the of the of the rigging. Quite unfortunate that we're in this mess. Okay, as if that is not enough, we've seen a situation where violence was the key thing, apart from the ICT rigging. Okay, I would uh, so this is why both Tinubu and the APC national chairman at the early stage of campaign last year were saying that Nigeria is not uh, ripe for BVAS because the network is not going to do this, they're going to do that. It showed that they already planned all this is what they were going to do from beginning. And they were confident in it. They dispatched money. They paid heavily for people to sell their conscience. Quite unfortunate. So that is the situation we are seeing here. Uh, Kuo, the former minister, Fidel Kuo, is trying to, is telling the people of Ebony here, that at the right time, Tino, uh, Peter Obi will be declared winner of the election by court because Peter Obi was the person people voted for and not Tinubu. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.